हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स येट एन अदर ट्रिक ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज सुपर फास्ट मल्टीप्लीकेशन थ्रू विच यू विल बी एबल टू मल्टीप्लाई टू नंबर्स और इवन थ्री नंबर्स वेरी वेरी क्विकली इन योर माइंड विदाउट यूजिंग पेन एंड पेपर इफ यू स्टार्ट काउंटिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रिक्स सुपर फास्ट मल्टीप्लीकेशन हैज आई थिंक यू विल फेल टू काउंट दैम यू हैव अ ट्रिक फॉर एवरी थिंग वेदर दे आर सम स्पेशल नंबर्स or they are some random numbers mathematics is amazing so let's see this video where i am going to take up some of the numbers which are ending in 9 and yes when whenever the two numbers end in 9 there is a super fast trick so to learn that trick you need to watch the entire video and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have not done till now and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of all these super fast multiplication trick uploads on this channel so watch now let's see the first example which i am going to take up i'll take a two digit number first say 39 times 59 so you can see both the numbers are ending in 9 and they are both two digit numbers so it doesn't matter you know even one number can be a two digit number and the other can be a three digit number or both of them can be three digit three digit four digit four digit five digit if you know the trick you can solve everything so let's understand the logic and let's understand the steps which you have to take up okay so the first thing you have to do is to just forget the nines as of now just take the numbers which are apart from nine and take their successors like the successor of 3 is 4 and the successor of 5 is 6 so i just need these two i'll just multiply 4 times 6 and that gives me 24 so what what am i going to do with this 24 i am going to suffix a zero with that and subtract the sum of 4 and 6 that is 10 from this number so this gives me 240 minus 10 and that is 230 right and now what happens to this 230 just suffix a 1 and watch the magic just multiply 39 and 59 using the traditional approach or using a calculator you will find that the answer is 2301 so i hope you have understood like 50% of this no problem if you have understood 50% of this rest of the 50% is coming up now so let's take uh, an example where i have a one two digit number and one three digit number okay so let's take 79 and uh, maybe 109 so i'll take a smaller number first and slowly i'm going to complicate the problem okay so now apart from the 9 you have a 7 here and apart from the 9 you have a 10 here so what happens to this this becomes 8 and this becomes 11 and when you multiply them you get 88 now what happens to this number we have to suffix a zero so 88 becomes 880 and subtract what subtract the sum of 8 and 11 that is 19 so if you subtract 880 and 19 you are going to get 861 right and do what suffix a zero and now pick up the calculators 8611 is that the answer you are going to be surprised and you know see the number of steps i wrote here and number of steps i wrote here it's getting easier right so let's see one more uh, in which i have a two digit and a three digit number then i'll move to some more complicated examples so how about taking 69 and 149 So six becomes seven, and fourteen becomes fifteen, and fifteen times seven is one o five. I'll suffix a zero and subtract fifteen plus seven, that is twenty two from this. So I'll get one zero two eight, and suffix a one one zero two eight one happens to be the correct answer. Oh my God, that is not at all consuming any time now, right? So I hope you have understood the logic. You have understood how the steps are to be taken up to carry out this multiplication, and we can move on to some more complicated examples. Okay, so let's take eighty-nine times two hundred and sixty-nine. Okay, so eight and twenty-six, right? So this is nine and twenty-seven, and twenty-seven times nine is 
243 becomes 2430 and subtract 27 plus 9 36 from this you get okay 30 cancels directly and 6 more to be subtracted so this is 2 uh, 430 minus 36 is 2394 right 2394 and suffix a 1 you get your answer 23941 is the product of 89 and 269 Let's take a three digit number and a three digit number. How about taking 129 and 309? Let's see whether the method works for three digit and three digit. Okay. So we have a 12 here and a 30 here. So 12 becomes 13 and the 30 becomes 31. 13 ones are 13. So 3 and a 1 carry. 13 threes are 39 and a 140. So 403. Suffix is 0. Subtract what the sum of 31 and 13, which is 44. So 4030. So 4000 minus 14. So 3986 and suffix a 1. We get 39861 as the product of these two numbers. <laughs> right? So I can go on and on, you know, and de demonstrate, you know, how the method works so wonderfully. Uh, I'll do one more. See, 549 and 719. Now, when the numbers grow bigger, you know, what happens? You should know some basic tricks of Vedic maths, like multiplication of 55 by 72. Now, how do you do 55 times 72? That's important. So, 55 times 72, if you have to do this, 5 twos are 10, 0, 1 carry. Then, 35 and 10 cross multiply right 35 and 10 45 and 146 6 4 carry and then 35 and 439 3960 is the product so 3960 and do what put a 0 and subtract what the sum of 72 and 55 which is 127 there we go 127 is to be subtracted and when you subtract that you get 39 is uh, intact and 600 minus 127 is 473 and suffix a 1 you get your answer 394731 you know Vedic Maths this is what I used here the vertically and crosswise method of Vedic Maths so you know when you know some of the basic tricks some of the more complicated problems also become easier so I hope you have learned how you multiply numbers ending in 9 and if you want to learn all these short tricks in at, at one place you can just send me a message on whatsapp you can see my whatsapp number here three nine uh, that that's nine eight nine six three six double nine six three you can send me a message on whatsapp on a complete ebook of short tricks i'll tell you how to procure a copy because very recently we have launched some special offers for our subscribers so friends like this video do share it with all your friends on your whatsapp groups and do not forget to practice this enough so that you can apply it okay all the best.